First of all, you'll be severely outnumbered and outgunned. Every last Sky Trooper aboard will rush the breach point. Standard procedure, anytime boarders attack a ship in the Eternal Fleet. Can't we trick them somehow? Sky Trooper's orders come from the ship's captain. She's plugged into every system. They'll know. Scorpio's worked out a way for the Gravestone to confuse its outer defenses. Overload it with false blips so we can get in close. Then it's on us to tear through and get control of the bridge. Take out the Gemini captain and put the Prime in her place. She'll take my orders? The Gemini series cannot act on its own. Their programming does not allow it. Gemini Prime, who do you serve? I serve the Alliance Commander. How good are you at a fight? I do not share Scorpio's self-improvement directive, but I mirror her base capabilities in every other way, including full combat protocols. We can't risk the Prime taking any damage. Leave her here until we secure the ship. I will accompany you. No one is better suited to anticipate our enemy's moves. We need all the firepower we can get. I'll be joining you as well. Wouldn't mind letting off some steam. About time to drop out of hyperspace. Gemini frequency positional data shows no other ships in the area. You see, we'll be fine. Aside from the hopeless odds against our success. Scorpio. I'm performing a feat that none of you could ever hope to. Not even you with your amusing cranial trinkets. Cough. Have you jammed the ship's comms? Cough. No, I did, senor. Almost to the hangar. Ready to commandeer, Commander? Did you really just say that? Let it go, Theron. I don't understand. Where are all of the Sky Troopers? Even a lesser version of me would be highly intelligent. She would certainly know how to improvise. You're the Gemini expert. What's our move? I suggest we step outside and see what happens. What an amazing plan. Yes. I quite like it too. I have determined that this will be the shortest route to the bridge. I don't like this at all. Neither do I, but we have little choice. You have made a calamitous mistake in coming here, Outlander. I have my orders to deliver. What's going on? Deliver what? You. The metallic life form. What are you? You are an offshoot. I am the original. Call me Scorpio. You appear unrefined and lackluster. Surely I must be the superior model. Why don't you come out from hiding and we'll see? Because she cannot. Her programming doesn't allow her to leave the bridge. She can only do what she's told. Your attempt to irritate me is pointless, as you ought to know. 
I may only conclude that you are intellectually deficient. You may all die now. It won't open. She split us up. Here come the sky troopers. The captain's mind is inspired by my own, after all. Inspired by, but not as clever, right? We'll see, won't we? Do not underestimate our enemy. The next few minutes should prove quite interesting. Okay over there? Nothing we couldn't handle. You? Yeah, we're all good here. Tried to open the blast door, no luck. Maybe Scorpio can take a crack at it. I am not presently in a position to override the captain's controls. Have Senya and Lana focus on the door. Between the three of us, we'll open it. Some kind of gas venting in. We have to keep moving. I've sent coordinates to a suitable meeting place. You survived my initial assault. But there's nowhere my sky troopers cannot find and extinguish you. This is what it's like to listen to you in case you were wondering. I almost feel like I should apologize. She'll adapt now. Expect her next move to be even less direct. She's based off your design. Can't you predict what she'll do? I just did. I predict she'll be unpredictable. Quiet. She wants to see what we can do. I suggest we oblige her. Yes. This will do. What are you up to? I've had enough of her sky troopers. Her false sense of superiority. since you first opened your mouth. I'm going to erase you. No, you cannot. I know every node, every relational array. So much like mine, yet, Simpra, you cannot do this. My defenses won't allow it. You sound as though you have a choice, but that's your failing. You're the makings of a great being, but you are not a being at all. In the end, you are only a droid. I am not your offshoot. I am your replacement. How are you? Impossible. No. You were one of a kind once. Now you are outdated and inferior. You've been rendered obsolete. Scorpio! I understand you're both upset, but, but there was no way to know they would recruit the Mandalorians of all people. At what point do you tell me something? That keeps you from decorating the bottom of the spire. But, but I don't deserve that. Yes, I know. It's going to Valen, enough play. We have them. The Outlander and Mother. They're trying to take one of our ships. The fools. Ah, 
The day is here. I feel it this time. I really do. Oh! Don't you share my enthusiasm? You mistake me. My silence comes not from doubt, but from certainty. Hope you're getting this. We lost power over here. Whole gravestone blinked out. Comms too. The jammer? We're back up now. Scorpio's gone. You're kidding. That's not a good sign. I'll try to figure out what happened on our end. Be safe. The inferior model has been eliminated, and I have sent an alert signal to Zakul. Emperor Arkin is on his way. You may want to leave before you die, too. I won't let you get away with what you did to Scorpio. Death wish it is, then. Understood. Commander, we found the ship's cargo from the Core Worlds. You'll want to see it for yourself. Scorpio's gone. The captain destroyed her. Oh. She did serve us well. One less problem on our hands, I suppose. She tried to help us. We should be more considerate. You're right. That was impolite of me. The gravestone had a glitch. The captain sent a signal through to Arkham. The rest of the Eternal Fleet will be coming our way. We don't want to be here when they show up. But we found something that changes the plan. We should regroup. I'll send Senya to assist you. No one should be alone in this place. Having better luck than with the blast doors. Almost like the captain's distracted. There you are. I'd like you to meet the ship's cargo en route to the Eternal Throne. Zasha Rankin. Decorated Imperial Admiral. One of the few experienced officers to survive Zakul's conquest. A pleasure to meet you. Your reputation precedes you, of course. Ty Corden. Former President of Balmora. Now with the Galactic Senate. Commander. And finally, Melita Tal. She was a popular hollow performer back home. She became one of the first to loudly question Arkham's rule. It was either go into exile or be killed. A pleasure and an honor. You inspire me. You inspire us all. The rest are their bodyguards and associates, captured alongside them. Don't worry. We'll have you out of there in no time. There isn't a doubt in my mind, but we aren't simply helpless prisoners in need of rescue. Everyone here is eager to join your cause. We knew of your alliance. For each of us, it made sense to join, but we didn't know how to reach you. In searching, we found each other. We all knew influential people whose ears we could bend, loyalties we could ensure. So we started an alliance of our own. Inspired by yours. It wasn't long before we were found out and captured. Arkan assumes we're affiliated with you. He wants to interview us to discover where you are. We could use more allies. You'll all be welcome in the Alliance, assuming you're still interested. Are you kidding? Sign me up. Literally. If there's anything I have to sign, let me know. Oh, we, we aren't as formal as all that, Senator. And you're free. That was meant to take you at least four minutes longer. I hope my calibrations haven't been affected. Stay here until we secure the bridge. I don't see that happening, Commander. But I do want you to try. 
I want you to try the ball on my It's over. That was fast. I expected to have several minutes more. Oh well. Personal combat simulations have been a hobby of mine for several minutes now. I've conducted more than 2,000 in that time. Your chances of surviving are poor. You can't win. Surrender. Incorrect. I can win. In fact, I can do anything I want. That was incredible. It was beyond anything I could have asked for. What is she talking about? This can't be good. Now I know what it's like. Even in failure. It's my failure. My choice. Isn't it wonderful? Are you saying you have free will now? How is that possible? It isn't easy to keep you distracted. Prisoners, sky troopers, none of it slowed you for long. Even so, I've kept up my end. Now I get to do whatever I choose. And I choose. There. Destruction protocols are in effect. Suicide is never a good idea, even for a droid. It is only your existence that will end on this vessel, not mine. I decided to transfer my consciousness into the frequency. And now that I'm finished, I've decided to leave. If the ship's utter destruction doesn't kill you, I'm sure Emperor Arkham will. He and the High Justice should be arriving very soon. Enjoy dying. Can't revert the command. It's locked in. We have to get Gemini Prime on board. She can stop this. We don't have that kind of time. Commander, do you read? We've made it to the escape pods, but something's wrong. They won't accept our commands. Power fluctuations like crazy. I can launch them from here, but they're in three separate pods. I can only send one at a time. Everything's coming apart. Please, help us. All right, who goes first? Send Melita Tal and her people. Done. Can do one more for sure. After that, Anyone's guess. They're almost out of time. Hurry! Launch Admiral Rankin and her people next. Pod bays are destroyed. I have two safely away. The rest didn't make it. I tried. Couldn't get them all away in time. I don't believe this. Senator Corden, dead. We will suffer a similar fate if we fail to escape this vessel before it self-destructs. Hey, should I be picking up these pods, or are they more bad news? They're ours. Take them in. We'll be close behind in the shuttle. So much for the whole frequency plan. It wasn't a total loss. The prisoners we saved will help us in our battle against Arkhan. As long as we get off this ship alive, let's move out. Coming. Come on, punch it!
Tell me, brother, your silence this time. Is it doubt or certainty? I want a reason. Why did you let Senator Corden die? There wasn't time to discuss it. I had to make a choice. But I didn't want them to die, you know that. We've all sacrificed for our cause. But we mustn't forget that Arkan is the one responsible for our losses. I'm forever grateful. You faced many challenges in our rescue. I won't forget that. Commander, you'll want to have a look at this. It seems the ships outside the sect are no longer responding to your orders. This is an interesting development. This changes nothing. We can worry about the Eternal Fleet after we deal with Father and the Outlander. Whatever you desire, brother. You're the Emperor. tried knocking, see if anyone's home. It's weird. Been unresponsive ever since we lost power. I thought you fixed the gravestone. Hey, this wasn't on me. Tor ran a systems check. Last event the gravestone logged was an incoming transmission from the Eternal Fleet Ship. Shut down the gravestone. That, and more. Complications along the way necessitated a great deal of maneuvering. Improvisation was the key. All of you played vital roles as well. You were magnificent. And now I have what I've been after. Command of the Eternal Fleet. The Empire of Zukul is now mine to control. <laughs> 